known as Hustle Man, a rapper who has over 30. We got motion. We getting money. That shit with WG McQuan. Back one of the. It's a crazy one. We got a fraudster. Instagram rapper Hustle Man. I definitely saw him on the gram like back like two years ago. I saw I was pre pre his shit, but like I ain't never really believe in what he was saying or what he was talking about because he did look a little off. Like sometimes you can just tell people present. Reach thirteen. Sometimes you could feel people presence or like just look and be like, eh, it sound really off. Like he got all of this, but. It's not adding up like the results followers on and shit like Instagram, that. which is more than Young Dolph and Nipsey Hussle combined together. Hey, how you got more followers than both of these two famous, real famous people? And you've probably never heard of him. And that's because 99% of these followers are fake. The industry is fake. Everybody is like not genuine. Everybody not real. Like, what's the accent about it? Do y'all really that's another thing, like his talking, his grammar, his proper grammar is like, it was always off. Like, I watched videos of him before he had a YouTube channel or whatever. But let's just, I'm gonna let it play out. When I was like, thinking it ain't just his fate, like. Now, Hustle Man, the rapper, popped up on the scene about seven years ago, posting music videos to YouTube and snippets over on his Instagram account, where he would apparently catch a little bit of traction if you're going based off of the Instagram numbers alone. And Hustle Man the Rapper claims to be one of the richest rappers in the world. Like, he sounds stupid and your grill looks stupid. Don't fit. <laughs> Yeah, he's the hottest in the street, and according to him, he really look like he faking it. He has been for a long time. Now I know it was hard to tell what bro was saying right there because he had one of them T move grills in his mouth that he could barely speak. But he was basically saying, "I'm the biggest in the game," and I just told y'all, bro, don't fit. And I'm giving away $20,000 here pretty soon, which I'm going to go ahead and assume he probably didn't go through with that. But that's neither here nor there because Hustle Man is the real deal. Now, Hustle Man got his origins in New Orleans, Louisiana, and then he moved over to Texas for a little while before moving back to Louisiana. And you would think living in such high profile places for music, at least with rap, Texas and Louisiana, that this guy would have some major music influences. But Hustle Man isn't your everyday ordinary rapper. In fact, when asked who inspired him to become an artist, he would simply tell you that it was just himself that inspired him. Now, when you start to do some digging on who Hustle Man the Rapper is, you'll find a couple of self-authored articles out there on the internet that this guy wrote and distributed to these crappy little blog sites. And in those self-authored biographies, Hustle Man describes himself as the type of person it's crazy how you really could just set everything up and make shit look good. But somebody like him, people could see right through that for. And it loves rocking designer fits and you'll probably catch him wearing Gucci or Fendi if you ever see him in person. He also describes himself as being extremely passionate about jewelry and other very narcissistic things like that. And Hustle Man's main vision in life is to convince everybody else that he has actually made it that he came from the trenches and he made it to the top and this article right here that i'm pretty sure he wrote himself he said you'll often catch him flexing stacks of like, i don't think i can never like really fake it this hard like fake it till you make it like he really that definition like he dragging a game like eight articles about yourself like 13 million followers, more than Young Dolph and Nipsey? Nah. Nah. 
hundreds on his Instagram, speaking motivationally to help inspire his followers to take some action. And motivation is huge for Hustle Man, as he's always looking for that extra spark to help him create better songs and work harder. Now, with articles like that written about him and all of those followers over there on Instagram, you would probably be assuming that this guy must have some kind of incredible hidden talent. Like, bro might have to be the world's best rapper that nobody has ever heard of <laughs> pulling numbers like that. And if you thought that he was going to be super incredibly talented, then I got news for you. You are right. He is so incredibly talented here. I will play a little piece of his art for you guys. I'm in Miami. Yeah. In Miami right now. What is yeah. this? I'm in that beautiful right now. And yeah. I'm also in dry right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's on my mama. I'm in Miami. I'm, the, I'm going to bring you a swim on the Cali. Like, is this money fake though? Cause he, if he really, if it's not fake, I mean, he got a little emotion, no hate and shit. Right now, that I know little, that thinking, little hey, KB, bro, you obviously picked the worst example that you could have to play us. And you know what? I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Maybe I did pick a bad example to play y'all that time. So I figured I would give it another shot. We'll pick another piece of his music. Maybe I'm just bad at song selecting and I just chose one that didn't pay him in the best light. Like, so said, let's I'm listen in Miami. to some other classics that this guy has dropped. <laughs> I came up money, man, cause I'm buzzing. Cause man, I'm out of that nigga, I done in the other place. I'm running up like a sauna. Eh, eh. I say it's somebody gotta be old. can't gain 13 million followers with a distinct talent like that. But as soon as I seen this guy's profile with all of them followers and all of the buzz surrounding his name, I just had to look into it. Now, I came across Hustle Man, a rapper, on Instagram after bro left a comment on one of my posts that I made that simply said, DM me. So that is how I found Hustle Man. But what I found after I discovered him and his music is super interesting, right? Because like I stated at the beginning, I have never heard of this guy. You guys have probably never heard of this guy. So how did he get so massive? Well, the answer to that question is pretty simple. It is just a lot of fake followers and fake engagement on his page. Now, you might be wondering, KB, how do you know that it is fake followers and fake engagements that's on his page? Well, because when I was looking into his music catalog, which, by the way, I should state, his music did get better with time and his visuals did get better with time. But as I was looking through his catalog of music to try to discover who this guy was, I started noticing that the accounts that were interacting just didn't seem very legit to me. And I'll give you guys a good example. On this music video right here, Hustle Man, the rapper, Tron, that has 1.1 million views and over 2,000 comments, I started to notice something strange in the comment section. Like, for one, look at all of these accounts right here. Now, there's nothing particularly suspicious about these comments and these profiles other than they just don't look like real accounts. They're all leaving very short comments, right? And I thought that was odd, but as I kept scrolling through the comments because I had my suspicions about what was going on, I started to notice things like this, where it would seem like five or six or seven accounts would all leave the exact same comment right and this didn't just happen once like with this fire love for miami comment there was other examples like this one that boy strapped or this one it said i seen you in new orleans in that truck now at this point i started to become a little bit skeptical about who i was looking at so i started to dig a little bit deep bro people really go this hard for social media i didn't know like this Bennett thing has been going on for a long time. But like people really, they mind is really intrigued by this shit. Like. And what I quickly came to realize was that I was looking into and watching videos from what can only be described as the biggest capper in hip hop. I mean, this man be lying just 
to lie. It's honestly impressive that he's been able to get away with it for this long without somebody calling him out or at least documenting everything that's going on because he has been asked about his followers and his engagement before. In fact, I found this interview from a channel called No Lazine, which is a guy that does interviews in and around the New Orleans area. Shout out to him. He has a pretty good channel, but apparently he interviewed this hustle man, the rapper guy on two separate occasions. And in the first interview that I clicked on, the very first thing that this dude asks Hustle Man is about his faking game. I'm definitely about to go watch both of those two interviews after this, because I've never seen this. Wait, what were those channels? No Lazine. Right, we're going to tune into that after this. First thing that this dude asks Hustle Man is about his fake engagement. But we have a lot of people, I'm like in the comments, yeah. they're going off on you saying, you know, that's you're that's a fraud, you're a scammer. That's hey, how you feel about that? I mean, I feel like people don't say what they say. Like, people people look at me, just, they look at my image, my lifestyle, they try to figure out how to live it. And people just come with all kind of rumors, saying, you know, that's, that's how rumors feel. Yeah, so there we have it. It's just a room why is his voice like that bro people are just hating bro anybody claiming that hustle man a rapper is a capper is just a certified hater so like you know like for you know just a, just the average person and they always got something to say about you yeah. like like the people like man if a dude try to sell me follows I, like if i saw one of those comments i mean like i said and what's going on with his twist or dread? That shit look a little off, twin. Like, this thing just look off. Like, is it me or he look off, bro? Like, glasses to the side. He wanna be down. Like, I don't know if he was a sped that kid when you was younger. Like, he was a, he used to ride the short bus when he was a jit, bro. Like, what's up, bro? Hey, Pete, like, but I didn't see him on Instagram. I go through comments and ask people I don't even talk to before, like, I don't even know. I don't even know. You know, know these people. People just be, you know. He used to get bullied in school or something, bro. Like, whoever really know this man personally, shit crazy, man. Did you say anything? anything. You got money, but you can't afford some Gucci, like valid, not Gucci, but valid glasses. Come on, like, now, for bro. attention, they do it just, just for attention, for real. To most people. Most people go to parties, they, they, they go out every night, they do this, they do that. What I do, I don't go to parties, I sit at home, I work, I, I try to figure out how I'm gonna make another million, I try to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Like, I, like bro, people, people don't know this, I, 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 I rap, yeah, that's the, that's the main thing, but I do, I do all kind of other things, like I do e-commerce, I do real estate, I do, it, it's, it's like, I'm gonna be working for real. I feel like most of that, is, most of that internet's gonna be fake anyway, like I don't just, I don't want really to pay too much attention to it for real. Right. So the internet is fake. He doesn't pay very much attention to it at all. Which, for a guy that has 13 million followers, I mean, not focusing on it seems to be the opposite of what you're doing, bro. <laughs> You've got half the amount of followers as 50 Cent does. So I would say you are definitely focused on it. But look, the fakery and the capping, it gets even worse than that. It's not just about fluffing the social media numbers because this guy is using the social media numbers that he's fluffing in order to run kind of a, and I want to put this in quotes, scam on the people that actually do find and interact with his page. But we'll get to more of that in just a minute. First, I want to go through all of the capping that bro be doing. See, because the problem is so bad that not only is he faking his numbers, he's also faking some of his content. I found this video online of a TMZ interview with him, and I want y'all to watch it real quick. Hustle Man, it's time for TMZ. What's going on, TMZ? How y'all doing? What's going on with you at 6'9, man? We been hearing a lot going on. Man, 6'9 playing. You can't come back to LA. Me and 6'9 got a fight coming up real soon. You know what I'm saying? A real fight? Soon. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, real it's going soon. down. Yes, sir. Real soon. Shout out to, um, shout out to Money Me Brothers. That fake ass. Like, I get it, bro. But I just feel like you gotta do it to a certain extent. Or at least troll with it after or be funny with it. 
he sold that ass like, yeah, I'm really lit. TMZ on me, chill, yeah, paparazzi. No, bro, nobody knows you, bro. I don't even know you. Like he was already walking out. Versace's longest selling your feet, first off. Did not walk out of Gucci, nigga. Fuck out of here. Jeans weak. Richard Millie fake. TMZ. Got on two watches. Still coming late. <laughs> I ain't wrong, it's man, but that shit fake. What's going on, TMZ? How y'all doing? What's going on with you at 6 9 man? We been hearing a lot going on. I ain't gonna say nothing about the chains, because you know chains be chains. She could be moist tonight, whatever. A fight? But the watches? Oh, it's going down. Nah. That ain't it, twin. Gotta make sure... Gotta make sure they get him driving off. They gotta have him on camera driving away. The bro even turned the wheel the wrong way. Man, you can't make this up. I get pulled up mad slow, bro. Like, if I'm gonna do a fake video, I'm gonna make this shit look real. Yo, yeah, yeah, doing too much. Chill. Let me get a hop in the Billy. Whoop, whoop. Play mad loud music. Like, come on, bro. You're not even doing it right, bro. Now, on the surface, that video looks like a legitimate paparazzi ran up on him to figure out hey, what exactly was going on. Hey, hustle man. And he said something about 6 9 there. It's because at one point, this hustle man guy was trying to manufacture a beef with 6 9 when 6 9 was popping. And he did that by responding to a post that 6 9 had made about Nipsey Hustle. And then he bought himself. Twenty thousand comment likes to try to make the comment stand out and later on he will claim that that was his first viral moment so i guess that's a piece of this story he was trying to manufacture and fabricate uh beef between him and takashi but back to the tmz clip in that clip there were several things wrong that i noticed okay for one this is uploaded on his youtube channel and it's titled tmz rolled up on hustle man a rapper in beverly hills that's like hey, bro why your versace like that ain't like ain't no motion having ass nigga <laughs> motion had real motion having ass they not wearing any clothes like that, bro. Like, I know you really a fraud, bro. Like, you gotta be some kid that used to be on a computer trying to mimic social media. Like, good boy, got good parents. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. It's the first thing that I noticed that was wrong with it. It's uploaded to his page. The next thing that I noticed was the first comment on here says, bro even fakes TMZ. And I ain't gonna lie, faking a TMZ interview is crazy. crazy so bro. I got to wondering, did he fake this TMZ interview? So I hit TMZ.com. I punched in on TMZ.com. Hustle man, the rapper. And guess what? There are zero results so TMZ has never posted this guy and if through the ones that shot that video they didn't release it he's the only one on earth with a copy of it but it gets a little worse because when I went back and watched it for a second time I noticed that bro is walking out of a vacant building there is told y'all I just said that he's not even walking out the Gucci store bro like what it's literally a four lease sign on this building that he's walking out of. Bro just found a nook in an alley that he could squeeze in real quick and then told his homie, hey, record me as I'm coming out so it looks like TMZ got a footage of me, bro. This is mind-blowing behavior. I mean, I guess I can understand the thought process behind wanting to fake a T TMZ interview so it looks like you're popping, but I can't for the life of me figure out why somebody would actually do it. Like, this is easily provable as being fabricated, but 
Okay, after I seen these things, I said, you know what? Let me keep digging. Let me keep looking. There is bound to be more here. And there was. Like I said earlier, I noticed that this guy sometimes just caps just to do it. He just gets on camera and lies just to be lying. If you look at Instagram, you know, if you look like you had a one, I mean, lavish life. Yeah, of course, you know, I'm living health as well. So, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, in the gym too. <laughs> I ain't never seen you, Jim. I just see you in front of the mansion, in front of the cars. Oh, yeah. I ain't never seen you. He'll pull the videos in the gym. Uh-uh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yo, the cameraman called him out because he said, oh, this wealth, I'll be at the gym. And the cameraman said, bro, I ain't never seen you at the gym, bro. Look at him. <laughs> God dang. And also, look at this fake Louis Vuitton shirt that he's got on. Bro got on the LB shirt and the V not even capitalized, bro. Oh, my God. Wait, huh? He not even capitalized. Oh, no. Bro got on the... Bro got on Diggs Gate, boy. Take that Diggs Gate off. Think about if it's your first, I'm like, viral, I'm like, moment. Because we see you have like a million followers, so you know... Two million. Two million, I'm sorry. Oh, two million. Oh, he's not focused on it. But at the time, he had a he had two million followers. He said, I see you got a million. Oh, no, I got two. But, but remember, he's not focused on that at all. Bro took a deep breath and really had to think about the question. Like, how did you go viral? He said, <sighs> see, that's the thing about faking it till you make it. If you got 13 million followers and you get asked, how did you get there? And you don't have a logical answer for it, bruh. This is how you look. And so what happened, you know? And we saw these followers come from. It started, it started with like a few years ago. All about, I had 10K. I went to 60K and just kept promoting. I was, I used to always travel with my family. So we went, we used to go everywhere. I used to be, you know, shooting music videos, dropping songs, just, Making content, doing whatever I could do to, you know, to, to make, to make, to make something. So, and like recently, I went viral recently. When, when um, I went viral recently with, with, with some of the videos I posted, some of the content I posted, you know, went viral. I think one video got like 11 million views, so just been going viral with that. <laughs> right, bro. But the question was, how did you go viral? And his answer is, oh, I went from 10 to 60K. That's how I went viral. So you went viral for going viral? Come on, bro. So, like, you know, if it happened too many... Like, um, bro did not answer the question. He just... He just throwing me off all the way, bro. Like, Well, if it happened, like, too many Instagram follows... Yeah, but do you actually, I'm like, generate, I'm like, a lot of income from that? Like, you know, for like, yeah. promotion and everything like that? Yeah, yeah, and my Instagram montage, Instagram pay me, like, when I go live and stuff like that, they pay me, they pay me uh, for content. But, like, a lot of brands be hit me up, a lot, a lot of people hit me up for promo. So, I mean, it uh, generates funds. Okay. Like, you know, everybody ever has to reach that, you know, success. So, you yeah. know, like, everybody know that. You, you I mean, monetize. I mean, like, Instagram. yeah, it, it generates a lot of funds. Like, it, it depends on it depends on the person, but you can make anywhere from like fifty thousand a month, just you know, chilling. Man, come on, bro. <laughs> this man ain't making fifty thousand a month off of Instagram, bro. Or at least I don't think that he is, but he very possibly could be. But I don't think it's because he has thirteen million followers and he's monetized when he goes live. No, I think that there is a whole different scheme going on here. In fact, I know that there is a whole different scheme going on here. In that clip, we can hear him say a lot of people want promo, which means that he's not really making the money from posting he's making the money from shouting people out giving them promo which i don't know how good getting posted on a page with 13 million fake followers would do you but promo now one of the ways that hustle man the rapper claims that he makes money is through well one rapping two is through e commerce right he claims to be some type of e commerce ain't doing no e commerce Michael, and i found a lot of cap in his rap with this too like check out this post right here where he said that he made over a hundred m's a hundred million bro and then in this post right here he said 
I made 40 M's during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Half of that went to Uncle Sam and the rest went to investment. So according to him, he has made hundreds of millions of dollars or at least a single solitary hundred million, which I think if he did make a hundred million, he would probably be put on a list somewhere of wealthy individuals. But of course, his name is absent from all of those lists. But he hasn't only kept up by how much money he's making from his e-commerce business as well. He's also kept up by how much he charges to appear for like podcasts and Too much interviews. In fact, he claims that he got paid $250,000 to make an appearance on this podcast called No Fugazi, the No Fugazi podcast, right? And when he posted this, he said, I've made $250,000 to do this podcast, and now I'm dropping my prices to 5K for I'm going to watch this video too. It's Black Friday, and it's about showing love. Wow, how generous of him to drop his price from a quarter of a million to 5,000. It's almost like he owns his money. Because Hustle Man no I the podcast, is right. clearly making some kind of money. He has a ton of pictures of him in penthouses, driving Rolls Royce, driving Lamborghinis, driving all types of cars. And even if he's not buying these cars cashed, he still has to pay probably a pretty hefty fee to rent one of them. A Lamborghini might cost a thousand dollars for just a couple of hours to rent. So he is making money the question is where is he making money and this leads me into the next portion of this video which is what i'm gonna refer to as the scam and the whole plot of this is one that we have seen a million times by a million people online it's pretty much look at all the money that i make now if you want to make this same kind of money all you gotta do is come tap in with me hit my website buy my course and I will teach you how to make money too. What's poppin'? This hustle man up and second A lot of people ask me, hustle man, how you making money? What, what, what all do you do? Besides music, I do e-commerce. And like I saw a lot of people, how to do e-commerce? You know, making to the fifteen thousand dollars a day, depending on the skill set, depending on how fast you learn. Some make to the fifteen thousand dollars a week. Y'all trying to make ten to twenty k a day? You know, come tap in right now. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. I love how it goes up every time. 10, 15, 20, 50. What's going on? Y'all want to know how to make 30K? Very fast, very simple. All you got to do is go here to my website, the Hustle Man Academy. And y'all going to get this course right here, this e-commerce course. Once I get this course, I'll see y'all how to make $30,000 in less than 24 hours. Let's go. And just to show y'all some more stats. This is how, actually how much money I done made. $34,000 in just 18 days of the month. That's he's a scammer, bro. Like, he's really a professional scammer, bro. Like, it's a nice I'm gonna say he's a professional scammer, because it's... Y'all wanna know how to make 10 or 15 k then y'all tap in. if you believe him, he's just a dude. Now, I love how every time a new video play right there, he started at, like, you wanna know how to make five to 10,000 a day? The next video, he like, you wanna know how to make 10 to 15,000 a day? The next video, you wanna know how to make 10, 15, 20? The next video, you wanna know how to make 30,000 a day? Like, bro, well, how much is it? If I pay you, how much can I make a day, bro? <laughs> this seems like a pretty wide range that I could be sitting in. I mean, the whole thing is just kind of ridiculous if you ask me. And I don't really know who on earth would fall for this, but he has given it his best attempt. To Who's his parents? Legit. Even going as far as to post reviews that people have made of working with him and making a bunch of money, right? Like this one. Tap in if you want to learn how to make ten to $15,000 every day off of e-commerce. I tapped in with Hustle Man, and he showed me the way. Now I'm trying to show y'all the way. So tap in. If you try to make money like this every day, tap the f in. Stop wasting time. Now that seems like a pretty... That shit like from the bows. Right? We'll get back to that in just a second. But when I say this guy was promoting the crap out of this course, I mean he was promoting it to the fullest extent. Even going as far as to show how much he was actually making by sliding it into a clip that he posted online. And in this clip, he also reveals another way that he seemingly makes money 
And that is by charging people to meet with him in the first place. If y'all trying to learn how to make 10 to 15 hours a day doing e-commerce, I need all y'all to tap in. I'm going to show y'all how to make generation of wealth. I'm going to show y'all how to quit your 9 to 5 jobs and make a living from your computer, from your home. All you got to do is tap in. And look, if y'all in, in LA... Like every time this nigga glasses is leaning, nose fat as hell, cut... Grits, nigga. Give it up. Wrap it up, bro. If y'all come get up with me in real life, y'all can take a day with me and I'm gonna show y'all actually how it's done. So if y'all trying to lock in, hit me up right now. And this right here, I made this in one day of one day of work. So if y'all trying to learn, I made seventy four thousand today. Y'all wanna know how to learn? I remember seeing this video. This is fake. I'm tapping right now. Make sure I seventy five thousand. He didn't zoom in on the screen or anything like that. He just showed a random web page with a number that said seventy four thousand on it, and he claims that he made that. You got the square logo up there, but and one day, so it, it could be ten thousand a day, fifteen, mm -hmm. twenty, thirty, seventy. Who knows? At this point, you might even just get infinite money in one day if you <laughs> tap in. <laughs> if you quit your day job to try to build generational wealth. What a load of crap this is. Bullshit. But again, he went to the fullest extent he could to promote he did, the like, actual he property went hard for that desperate shit. people that really probably needed money because the people that normally fall for these types of scams are the people that are in desperate need of money. Now, I want to go back just a second. A minute ago, we seen a guy give a testimonial and say, hey, look look at all this money. If you want to learn how to make this, this money, had to be his man. To tap in with the hustle, man, right? Well, in order to kind of, I guess, promote this meet and greet fee that he pitched in the last video, 15000 to meet him, he posted another video where he had a testimonial from somebody that paid him to meet them. The thing is that this video was posted a complete year after the first video where that guy was like, you got to tap in with Hustle Man. This video we're about to watch was posted a full year later. So apparently these guys didn't meet until then. <laughs> What's poppin'? It's Hustle Man of Love. I'm checkin' in. I got my boy Damien here. Let me know what's going on. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Damien. I'm out here with my man Hustle Man. We out here making moves, investing in e-commerce, making big moves, man. Y'all need to tap in. Yeah, if y'all wanna learn how to do e-commerce, you know, I need all y'all to do is tap my bio and just sign up for the course. You know, I'm gonna put y'all on, you know, and me and Damien are working. We're gonna get to it. Let's get to it, boy. Now. I don't know how you guys view this, but I would think if you were a super successful motivational coach or whatever you're trying to pitch this as, that you would probably have more than one client that's able to give you a review, right? It's almost like these two might know each other in real life and he's using his homie to try to promote his scam. But I digress from that point. People have called hustle men out in the past. People like Bandman Kebo, who went on Instagram one day and posted this. He said, if I didn't even know he called him out. Y'all get an inbox from this creep. Everyone on my page, he was scamming. Y'all get an inbox from this creep. He DMing everyone on my page. He will scam you. Be careful. Nobody with 10 million followers will DM you. And I'm not going to lie. When Bandman Kebo is the person telling you to avoid somebody or you will get scammed, that is a giant red flag. Because Bandman Kebo has been in hot water himself for similar behavior. So when the walking red flag throws up a red flag, you know <laughs> something is definitely Nah, that wrong. ass still like... So man would get wind of this and he would try to defend himself by posting his Coinbase account and its balance online as if that would be proof. And pretty much said, look, bro, I'm not listening to what none of the haters say. I got $34 million in my Bitcoin account. Look, I'm to put you on some game. Right? Seriously. I got $34 million in my Coinbase account. And if I grab my other phones and grab my, my, my other laptops and show y'all everything I got, y'all wouldn't even be in a fabric. Like, how the f I do what I do? See what I'm saying? I don't know how real this is now. I'm only 21. Trying to put y'all on game, y'all yeah. y'all stop. But ain't no way you 21 with 30 M's, bro. Like, that's just, it's not possible, bro, unless you really pass generation of wealth down. Like, it's not possible, bro, unless you really had a 
crazy ass business plan. Like I'm trying to think, how can I make thirty million? No, bro, it's not possible. Most rumors outside that like, saying that, but the proof is hell. Like which I want to see, whatever it is, the proof is the proof. Like that's why I gotta delete social media, bro. I don't want my kids to have social media, bro. They gonna see shit like this and go crazy. And this is one of my accounts, and it's my Coinbase account. I got three of these. And what y'all gonna do? Like, don't let me, don't, don't let me post the bank statements when I spent that shit. Like, okay, so he posts this video with a seemingly thirty-four million dollars in a Bitcoin account, as if that proves that what he's doing is legit. Now, I'm not saying that bro has never made money in e-commerce. He very well may have made money in e-commerce. I'm not saying that bro has no real followers. He probably does have some real followers as it's clear that he has some real money, but posting your Coinbase account doesn't really prove anything, bro. It's the internet. It's a computer. It's as simple as opening an inspect console and changing the graph. Right. It's not that hard is. to do. Anybody can do it. So I'm not going to take you posting that as definitive proof that your money is actually in existence somewhere. I could care less if the money is real. What I care more about is the people that are desperate enough to pay you these outrageous prices in order for you to teach them how to build generational wealth. Step number one to building generational wealth is do not pay people like this to teach you how to do it. Because I promise you, you are not going to learn anything that is worth the money you are going to pay, right? So with all of that laid out and said, let's take a look at the website that he is running to try to convince people to purchase these courses from him and where he gets what I suspect is the majority of his money from. So this is his website right here. It says, I bring solutions to make life easier for my students. And then he's just got like a selfie picture of himself holding up some money. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like just some basic website. I mean, it's very, very blank other than this picture with his money on there. It's definitely not something that I would trust, but as we scroll down it, we can see that he offers courses and it starts at $250 and goes all the way up to $5,000. And for 250 bucks, he says he'll teach you how to get approved for a $50,000 loan with an LLC. Bro, you can learn this from WikiHow for free in 25 seconds. <laughs> then the $500 one says it's an e-commerce mentorship. So he'll give you a pre-built online store, supplier, a bunch of products, the best advertising, 5 to 10K in sales within the first 24 hours blah 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 and then he's got this five thousand dollar package that he calls the top g package how original i wonder if he's a fan of andrew tate anyways and in here he'll teach you how to get a zero dollar down payment for home buyers have a credit score of over 750 how auto loans work you'll learn how to obtain amex cards and this is all stuff that you can learn online for free you do not need to pay five thousand dollars to be taught this bro you can go on youtube right now and punch any of this in and learn for free now what i found most interesting about this is he says he will set up an online e-commerce store for you and people do have success in e-commerce doing things like drop shipping it's not a fraud that people do that there are legitimate businesses that do that however you do not need to pay this guy to do that because there are whole companies out there that are built you can literally type in drop shipping and you can find 1 million websites and legitimate companies that will give you a pre-built store. They will pre-populate your store with products. These things exist and they don't cost $500. You can get it done for like 100 bucks at some places online. But what is the benefit for him teaching you how to set up a store and run it? Well, I actually found this video clip right here that explains it perfectly. Let's pop it. Let's hustle money. I'm checking it. If y'all don't like it with the e-commerce, y'all tap it right now. I got five spots available. I know when I post this story, this go crazy. I'm gonna get thousand DMs, but y'all don't know how to do that. You can like that. Now I do get fifty percent of everything the store makes, you know, and you have to put twenty five percent back into the store, and you'll get twenty five percent profit. Just do the math on twenty five percent of ten to fifteen thousand. 25% of 10000 is $2,500 a month. And that's not really a lot of money, but to somebody that is desperate, that sounds like a lot of money. But it's interesting if you listen to what he says. Not only do you got to pay him to set this store up, which means he'll have access to the back end, I'm sure. He also wants 
50% of the profit from it. Not only that, he wants you to put another 25% back into the store and that's probably to run ads and things like that now i'm not saying that he is completely scamming people by doing this if he legitimately builds the store sets the store up gets it running maybe this thing is a scam couple of ads to be ran and then you make money and you put 25 percent back into it it kind of makes a little bit of sense that he's giving somebody a service but 50 percent is crazy pretty much what he just said was i'm gonna build the store i want you to run it i'm gonna keep 50 percent. you're gonna keep 25 and that's if the other 25 percent even goes back into it i'm assuming he might have some kind of setup where it's like i'll make sure the 25 percent goes back into it so in reality what's happening is you're working for 25 percent he is making 75 percent of it at the max if he's pocketing the other 25 but 50 percent of it at a minimum so he'll make more money from this endeavor than you will and he's charging you to even get it going he is basically making you pay him to be his employee now i don't know what the exact definition of a scam is but that certainly sounds like one to me now this website gets better because he also offers other things on there like a 24-hour story post on his fake instagram account with 250 bucks a custom video promo for 2500 dollars or you can get him to come on your podcast or interview for a small fee of $10,000, bro. Ain't nobody paying this man that much money to appear on a podcast. That's probably why he hasn't appeared on any except for one. And it's the one that he's got posted right here. Now, this is quite possibly my favorite part of it because he's got this part next with the picture of him and his homies throwing up gang signs in front of a mansion. And it says, we bring solutions to make life easier for <laughs> our customers. And my favorite part is down here where it says top notch support. And it says, we are simply here for our students. Most of our staff studied at NYU and Harvard University. They get straight cap. Nah, this shit is Harvard crazy. Harvard graduates. We got here on the left hand side of this Harvard. Like this can only be meant as a joke, bro. And then lastly, on his website, we have a subscription model because of course we do everything is a subscription these days even scams and he's got a couple of different plans here one for 49 one for 79 and one for 109 and i'm assuming that this is just to get people on a reoccurring payment so he can soak even more money up from it now like i said i'm not doubting that he's making money i do truly believe he's that making money he's making real money I but just he don't not. Like the way that he is making the money. I think he is leveraging these like fake followers and he leveraging all his his persona, should I say. Him being around motion and rent out these cars or if he bought them or not, or if he rented out Airbnb, or if he do have a house. Like it's all kinda do make a little sense to a sense, but like selling this fake courses and shit, that shit not even cool. Like to sell a nigga dreams or you gonna make them money and they don't make no money that's in not order cool. to convince people he's legit and funnel them into his website so that he can then sell them a course it's just one of these regular internet guru mogul moves that we see all the time except for it's coming from like a 20 year old rule number one to getting financial advice bro don't take it from a 20 year old but yeah man that's basically what i got for the video y'all gotta let me know what that was a crazy run. That was 30, 40 minutes. Like, like, comment, subscribe, bro. I made it all the way to the end of this video. I'm about to go relax. I just recorded for a whole hour, one video. Like, I didn't even think this was going to be like that. I still got to edit it. Got to thumbnail it. Pulse. About to pulse two right now. It's 9 o'clock already. I just missed drop time. I'm probably just drop one real quick. And then, you feel me? I'm going to head out. But... Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the vlog channel if you haven't. Just drop the video. Check out the two podcasts dropped on both. Follow me on all social media platforms. It's going to be like right here. Or right here. Right here. We out.